Check it out guys, this right here is the all new 2022 Nissan Frontier. And I wanted to do this video because we've done many other videos on TFL off-road and TFL truck channels featuring either the uh, Pro 4X Frontier or the Pro X, the new model trim level of the Frontier. But we haven't done much with kind of this, the mid-grade version, the SV. So in this video, I wanted to show you all of the features and options that are available on this truck, which is a little bit more affordable, of course, than the Pro 4X. It's still a four-wheel drive, it's still a crew cab. Uh, this one has a uh, shorter five-foot bed, but the SV trim comes with a long wheelbase option with a six-foot bed crew cab. So if you want that type of utility from a mid-size truck, 2022 Frontier has you covered. So let's start. Obviously, as you have seen, the styling is all new. This is a very nice blue color right there. And I'm here in Utah at the Nissan event, the new introduction of the new Frontier. And you can see, of course, they're using the new logo, the new Nissan logo, and it's in white instead of lava red, like on the Pro 4X. Let me uh, pop the hood and then show you the interior and talk about pricing and what's available. Here's a quick look. This is a premium package, basically, which means it's an SV with an additional package on top of it with leather seats and many other features, such as this Defender stereo system, which is a 10 speaker system and it's quite good. I first had a taste of it in the updated Nissan Titan truck um, a couple of years back, and now it comes to the Frontier. So I just popped the hood. Let's look underneath. Let's quickly go over the power specs. And this is pretty easy in the new Frontier because they are offering only one engine and one transmission choice. It's a 3.8 liter V6 with a nine speed automatic, no more manual, no more four cylinder. This is one powertrain you get in this brand new truck. 310 horsepower, 281 pound feet of torque. The horsepower is class leading. The torque is not class leading if you look at some turbocharged engines and other diesels in this segment. Of course, I'm talking about the Chevy Colorado, GMC Canyon diesels, Jeep Gladiator diesel, and then the turbocharged engine, the gas engine from Ford Ranger. Of course, Toyota Tacoma is still the class leader and the segment leader uh, for this midsize truck. And as you can see, kind of a standard looking engine bay. There, the belt system right there, it uses hydraulic power steering, no electric power steering, and it is belt driven. You can see also this huge space between the grill and the radiator pack. So it's kind of a similar brand new design that many other trucks are now utilizing, but I think the styling is quite good. And this hood had struts, so no playing with a prop stick. Pretty easy to pop the hood and check it out. This has these silver wheels and Michelin tires. They're the primacies. This tire size is 265-65 R17. You can also get on the Pro 4X 26570 R17. Those are basically 32 inch tires, just under that. Now let's take a look inside a little bit more. I'll power this up for you. Um, gross vehicle weight rating is 6,012 pounds. So if you're using it for a business truck, commercially for your small business or a big business, um, it has can have tax incentives for your business because it's over 6,000 pounds. This four wheel drive truck has 1,110 pounds of payload, which is eh, not great, but it is a crew cab four x four. And if you get a more basic truck with not as many options, the, pri uh, the payload could be around uh, 1600 pounds just over that but of course after you add all the luxury features like on this SV uh, you start to lose payload this truck has doesn't have a rear locker it does have traction control off hill descent control cargo lamp Nissan shield 360 driver assistance technologies it has an inverter 400 watts very nice steering wheel once again this leather wrapped steering wheel on this SV premium here's your shifter um, does not have wireless charging, although it's available. It would be here if it was optioned this way. 
You can see some storage here. Sunroof up there, power sunroof, obviously. Not panoramic, but it's a mid-size truck. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, dual climate control system. And this is a seven inch screen, not a nine. It still fits in the same bezel, but it's not a nine inch screen. Let me power it up and kind of show you how um, this graphic works. Comes to life, does a sweep, kind of shows you the Frontier logo. Um, as you can see this during this event, it's kind of all over the place. It's been an hour. Uh, this truck only has driven 19 miles. So don't use this 18 MPG as a, you know, a true test of its fuel efficiency. Although EPA rates it and Nissan suggests it's around 19 combined and 22 on the highway MPG for a four wheel drive frontier. You do have other gauges, which I love, like transmission temperature, your battery voltage, your uh, oil and coolant temps. It's quite a hot day, as you can see here in Utah. Um, but yeah, and the transfer case is here, four wheel drive high, four low. It's very easy to operate, just as before. Here's your screen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto are available. This one does not have the 360 degree um, camera, but it does have, of course, the backup camera that's required. Sorry, hope you could see that. It does have dynamic lines that show you when you're steering uh, what's happening. Here's the full menu, let me show you that. Of course, your audio, your connections, Right there, you can hook up your phone. So a lot of standard features that everybody is used to. A uh, single glove box right here, um, not a dual box. The stereo speak speaker system, like I said, it's about, uh, it has 10 speakers. Premium audio, it sounds awesome. I wish I could really test it out and show you that, but it's hard to do on YouTube. Uh, push button start. It's kind of covered from the driver, but you can feel it with your finger because it's an indentation and it's quite easy to find. You can manually shift this puppy right there. Sorry, there you go. So manual shifting, you can go through all nine gears and descend hills. The driver's seat is manual, does not have lumbar support. The, I mean, sorry, the passenger, the driver's seat does have lumbar support, which is uh, manual right there and power adjusted for back and forth and um, up and down uh, for the seat back. So of course you have other controls here for your adaptive cruise, your cruise control system, your um, of course volume and menu options and sources. So this is pretty standard. If you're used to Nissans, you'll be used to this. Uh, quite simple and nice. Uh, the SV Trim Crew Cap four wheel drive starts at around $35,000. Uh, the base base truck starts at about $27,840. This is the Frontier S with two wheel drive, king cab with a six foot bed. And then of course, uh, when you step up to this truck, the SV Crew Cap four by four, price goes up to 35. It's still very, very competitive. Uh, when you look at Tacoma and Ford Ranger and others uh, for what you get because you get you know v6 power lots of horsepower you're getting the capability 6700 pounds of towing when properly equipped although it does have a tow mode tow haul mode that's new but it does not have a brake controller from the factory you have to get an accessory or an aftermarket one Nissan doesn't provide as an accessory a brake controller for you. The mirrors are quite good. You see uh, plenty, including when towing um, a fairly narrow trailer, you can see that too. Um, new design, of course, for the interior, and sometimes you can get orange inserts and stitching, um, sometimes silver, like in this SV. So it adds a little bit of color, which I like. Overall, it's very intuitive interior. I quite like that. So. This is most of my, sorry about that beeping. 
of course it likes to beep like all new trucks like to beep uh, there you go so here's the rear seat at 6'2", just over 6'2", I can fit just so uh, with kind of my knee touching slightly and my head slightly touching. And of course, there is a subwoofer here for the stereo. There's a storage on this side. There is cup holders. You can uh, put the cushion up this way to get to that storage, or you could put the seat down this way and also put some some cargo here maybe and it just depends on what you want um, of course headrests are here as well manual rear window not powered and of course here's your filler with a cap and yeah so this is a basic four-wheel drive no locker but four low is available and i just took it on the highway and it drives nice very very solid very controlled uh very easy to use on the highway it feels really like a i want to say an suv it's it's the ride is that good of course when you're doing a, a buying a pro 4x you get it also bilstein shocks this one does not have a hitch oh of course it is available uh when equipped there you have it you can kind of see a profile of it really fast so this is the sv i do not have an s available to show you, I really wanted to show you a very affordable truck. I'm sorry, it's not available here right now. Uh, but as soon as we can get it to Colorado, we'll put it to the test, either this one or maybe a Pro 4X, or maybe at other trim levels, and we'll take it on a hard off-road courses, show you exactly how it works, and then also show it towing uh, trailers, because, you know, people still want to know, can I tow my boat or a small trailer to where I need to take it? As always, this is Andre for the Fast Lane Truck. Go back to tfltruck.com website for all this information, all the reviews, and you can search for other trucks there as well. Thank you very much.